Remember what I said in the previous video? This is simple things go wrong. Well, I thought the tires on my vehicle was the end of my problems, but no. This is why I don't like winter time. <laughs> I just hate it. <clears throat> I went to uh, put my snow plow on here yesterday. That's when we had a lot of snow here and I was gonna plow. I put it on and then all of a sudden the winch did not go up or down. I couldn't believe it. Brand new, haven't even pushed that button yet for the brand new winch. So, luckily where I bought this, they, they installed the winch for me so they know exactly. So they're a player's dealer. So I called them up yesterday and they stepped me through some troubleshooting. And everything they told me to check, I checked and still nothing. So he said, well, if you could bring it up, I said, I'll bring it up tomorrow, which is Saturday. He goes, okay. I said, I have to go to work anyways. I'm 10 minutes away. I'll bring it. So I did. I had the wife's truck. My brother let me borrow his ramps yesterday. And uh, put it on truck, took it to work without the plow, and uh, took it there. Showed up at 10.15, they looked at it, not even five minutes, and they knew exactly what was wrong with it. I'm thinking, okay. So the guy told me to come here, and he showed me. And the reason why I'm making this video is to help other people. If your winch don't go up and down, and you check the polarities, you check every wire, everything looks good. Well, I'll come to find out when they installed this, they didn't snap in the uh, in and out switch harness together tight enough. It was just together. And they clicked it in and then it worked. I couldn't believe it. So uh, I don't know if I can show you guys that or not. Oops. Let me get the old trusty flashlight. I got the vehicle running right now. Oh yeah. You see that switch right there with the green wire? That's the switch for the wedge here. So that wasn't pushed in all the way. But when they installed it, they just forgot to push it in all the way. I don't know. He said it couldn't have vibrated loose. I said, okay. So now that's what I'm going to be checking from now on. So there it is, guys. That was the culprit. So if you guys have one of these Polaris wenches, make sure that's plugged in all the way. Yeah, then after I drove it around last night on the road, and the uh, my neighborhood cop was up staring out the window, so I had to quit. <laughs> Even though it's registered and everything. But yeah. For a couple months now, I only wasted that much gas. <laughs> One block. Which is amazing. So there's the in and out switch right there. So this is what happens when you go in. There you go, there it is. It's up. And then to go down, it's out. You go out. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, 
What a nightmare. Like I said, this the stupidest things go wrong when I try to do something. Oh. Now she's working. I'm happy. Now everything is melting out here. <laughs> I don't need to plow it. It's getting a little warmer in here or outside. But that's fine. I don't even care if I use the plow this winter. I hate the snow. But I have it for insurance reasons. So yeah, if it snows, it snows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. And I'll be talking to you guys later.